want to know how to have Allah and the people love you? I'm Yasmin Mujahid, and this is a tip on relationships. The question of how to have Allah and the people love you was a question that the companions also wondered about. So they asked the Prophet وسلم, tell us something that we can do so that Allah will love us and the people will love us. And the Prophet وسلم, gave them very, very profound advice. He said, do not be attached to this life and Allah will love you. Now this part of the advice seems pretty obvious. We realize that we shouldn't be too attached to dunya and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love us. But the second half of the advice is a little bit less obvious. He said, do not be attached to what is in the hands of the people and the people will love you. And I think that there's so many layers to this statement, right? We, we know that we shouldn't be envious of people. And in fact, people don't like envious uh, friends, right? You never, you don't want to be around that person who's always coveting what you have. So it's obvious here that if we don't covet what others own, what others have, that people will love us more. But there is another layer, which I think is subhanAllah so deep, that there are things that people can give us, not just of material things that they have or own, but approval and respect and love. And ironically, the less we run after those things, the more we get those things. SubhanAllah, people don't like others who are too needy or too dependent. And the Prophet ﷺ is telling us that if we want people to love us more, if we want to have more healthy relationships, we need to stop running after people. We need to stop being dependent on what people have to give us of approval, of respect, of love. That when we become detached from those things in the sense that we are not needy of them, that we are, su we are sufficient without having those things from people, then actually we get more respect and more love from people. And this is just one tip that we can learn from the Prophet Wasallam. And this and many other uh, tips like this we'll be discussing in my new class called Transformed. It's a class about how we can rectify our relationship with the Creator and with the creation by transforming our hearts. I look forward to seeing you in the class and taking this journey with you in this seminar.